Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome to Mama Schmoo's Homeschool Reviews, where I share all things about homeschool here on my channel. If you guys are new here, I'm a homeschool mom to two. I have a son in kindergarten and a daughter in second grade. And my daughter that's in second grade and her friends are doing a little book club that I wanted to start up. And we're using this fun little house in the classroom guide to Laura Ingalls books. And I got this like years ago at a consignment sale. And I figured you guys would be interested in seeing it. I never shared it on my channel. And I was like, why didn't I share it on my channel? Um, because it's for grades three through five. So I had it for years and I finally picked it up to use with the book club and it is working out great. We are reading The Little House in the Big Woods, which we've read in kindergarten um, when they were young. I read it out loud. But now she's reading out loud with her friends and it is such a fun book to read. And in this book, there's like lots of really great things. Um, it's very wrinkly, by the way, from someone who must have spilled water on it when I bought it. <laughs> so it'll just be a little bit weird like as far as like the picture goes in the camera, but that's okay. Um, here's a table of contents. So it goes from unit study one through seven or unit one through seven. And it's the little house in the big woods all the way to these happy golden years. And there's an introduction to um, the little house in the big woods and all of the stories that she writes in the books. So you'll see like lots of information in regards to her family and their just everything that they've gone through, like in this little section here. Little House in the Big Woods is Unit 1, and that's what they're doing, and we've done a few of these chapters, and it's really fun. So this is how it's set up. They have the skill right here on this column, and then chapter, um, all the chapters and what they're going to be learning. So for instance, science is for Chapter 7, and they're doing art for Chapter 1, 3, 5, and 6. So they prepare you for what you're going to do. The things that they have, the activities are so simple, and they do refer back to Little House in the Prairie cookbook, and you can get that at the library, I think. Um, but I will try to link this book and the cookbook on Amazon links so you can like check it out for yourself and, and see if you want to get something like that. But this unit starts with this, and then it always has a little like paragraph about what the book is about. And then they have lots of activities. For instance, we did this. Um, they colored Wisconsin and found that they lived in this county here, and they also did this map of America, and they colored in Wisconsin, and then where they lived, and they made a path from that place to their state, and they compared the differences, and they have all these ideas here on this page, and then they have some reading comprehension questions. So what we do in our book club, we just made it a little bit easier for our second graders. We read the chapter with them the day that we're together, even though they read it on their own, it might have been a couple weeks before we get together. It takes a little bit longer to get together. And so to refresh their memory, we read it together. And then if it's a long chapter, we listen to the audio. And then they do some of the activities while they listen to it. So um, this one, for instance, they made a log cabin. And they had this little outline here. Um, but we made a gingerbread house into a log cabin. These really long pretzel rods. And we put icing on them and made a log cabin. And I'll try to put pictures here. It was really, really fun, like... My friend and I had a fun time playing together. So this is chapter two. They had a writing prompt and then making butter. So we did a little writing prompt here, the, the girls did. Um, they also had just instructions how to make butter. And then I also shared on YouTube how they make butter in a factory. I did not do that one, but you could always do everything in activities or you could just choose a couple of them. So this is kind of how it goes. They have chapter three and some um, questions about what they read and some bulletin ideas for a classroom, but you could always downsize it and make it um, a smaller version. So chapter four, um, they're talking about the differences between Christmas now and Christmas back then, and then they have reading comprehension stuff, and then they also have like recipes from the Little House uh, cookbook, which like I said, you can get it at the library, and you can make these really great recipes that were made back in the days, like salt pork, vinegar pies, dried apple pies, molasses on snow candy. There's like tons of recipes that they refer to in each chapter that you can make if you want. Um, so chapter five is a little activity, like an art activity, and then they have reading comprehension questions and drawing pictures. Chapter seven, they have maple syrup and maple sugar bulletin board, and then they have questions here. So they have more recipes here. So there's lots of different activities. They have an alphabetical order, um, worksheet, classifying words. So there's lots of little different things that they, you know, review with the kids. And you could choose and pick whatever your kids are interested in. So you don't have to do everything. So unit two, they do the little house in the prairie. 
and it is the same unit one. They do the skill and then they refer to the chapters here. Then they have a synopsis about the book and reading comprehension and activities. And then they have some copying pages that you can make for your kids to color to learn about like geography. So this one's really cool. They have a pancake recipe in the Little House cookbook. They have these questions here. They have different activities for doing those things. And as you can tell, they have lots of different fun things for each book. So Indian headdress, a yarn rug, chalk head, Indian beads. Then they have a little worksheet for scramble words. So it's, it varies in like different things, so it's not always the same thing. Unit three is on the banks of Plum Creek. And you can pause if you want to like check this out and read it. They're talking about compound words, and they have two boxes with box A and box B, and they combine the words, so it's very visual. And then you can make copies of this, and you probably cut them out, and you put them in box A and box B, and you combine them. So that's a really fun way to do that. They have a bulletin board idea, which you can make smaller. Um, and then they have the compound words list here, I think, or the spelling words. And then they have a word search answer key right here, and then you can make copies of this. They also have, on the banks of Plum Creek, a play, which is so fun. They have scene one, scene two, scene three and four, so all the characters are here, so it'll be fun to do with like your family or with your co-op or whatever you want to do. Um, it just seems like a really fun thing. I can't wait to get to that. And then with By the Shores of Silver Lake, it's another book from Laura Ingalls, and they have the same thing with the skills and activities, so I will flip through... It's pretty much like the same layout, but there's lots of different activities. Some books have more activities for each chapter than others. And then Unit 5, they're doing The Long Winter. And this is the book that we are reading right now. And it, it worked out perfectly because it's Christmas time and winter time. And it's really fun to read about the same season that you're in, which I thought was great. So there's the skills that they're going to learn. And a story introduction. They're talking about making journals and writing a journal and then this is a snowflake pattern for them to follow a project they're gonna be doing um discussing like syllables in like a game and then i guess you're gonna be making copies of these and then they have a like directions sheet right here so it's a little worksheet and then they have a bulletin snowman and a little house or not little house little town on the prairie unit six is the next book that they're gonna do and they're going to be learning about synonyms. So each chapter is very different. This one's really short. They have a skit to do, so this one probably takes a long time, so it's a bigger project. Unit 7 is These Happy Golden Years. They're going to be talking about the music for, from Pa's fiddle songs, and they like refer to all the pages here for the book. And my kids love when Pa plays the fiddle. They like get up when they're like eating lunch, and they just start dancing around. Um, so it's really cute. Maybe you can go back to the book and read and sing the songs along with him. When I listen to the audiobook online, um, they actually, the reader that reads it is actually singing the songs. So it's really, really fun. And I know you can go on YouTube and Google like Pa's Fiddle from The Little House in the Prairie and you can hear some music from him. It's really fun. And then they have a little quilt project activity right there and it shows you how to make it. They have a crossword puzzle. And that is it. They have lots of different activities. There's about 100 or so pages in here, and it's for grades 3 to 5. So I think that this is like an excellent book if you're like kind of, you know, bored of what you're doing and you want to do something new and different. If you want to work on a small unit study from one of these books that you're already reading, you can grab this book. Um, I'm not sure if they have it at the library, but I, like I said, I'll put the Amazon link down below for you. Um, but even if you grab the like cookbook and do that along with reading this um, and make it part of like your history project and do some artwork, um, it would be really, really fun. So I thoroughly enjoy this book. This is just a really good, simple unit study book that you can use to guide you through the books that you're already reading if you're already reading them like I am. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, I will try to link it for you below. I don't see the price on here, but it, I would think it's pretty inexpensive. And always check your local library if you could find something like this. 
Thank you guys so much. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for taking your time out of the day and watching. And if you're not subscribed to my channel by now and you watch my videos, I would love to have you guys join Mama Schmoo's Homeschool Reviews. I'll talk to you later. Bye.